Yeah, um, I just wanted to just give a brief response actually to a video that was posted regarding, um, I guess, Avenue Rant. Um, his account got suspended in the wake of some videos that was being posted or his response to a video from some Somalian girl, or Akata or Akata, whatever her name is. Um, I actually, you know, before I actually posted the video, I wanted to actually see what all the craze was about. You know, I didn't even know anything like this was going on, actually. I just happened to just flip through a couple of videos, and it, it, for some reason, it didn't take me long to actually run across a video that was talking about, you know, this type of issue, this subject about, you know, some Somalian girl uh, talking about the state of black women, and um, pretty much to the point where it actually offended a lot of uh, African-American women, and, you know, and then she said, you know, she was going to... I guess uh, cancel her YouTube account after the responses that she was getting in regards to um, the re in regards to the uh, responses that she was getting from other black women on what she said. But my issue is that I'm not really wanting to focus on that. My whole focus for this video is actually to talk about Avenue Rant. I really don't know him per se. I mean, I've actually went through and actually looked at a couple of his videos. I mean, the brother. I'll say this: the brother actually has a lot of things to say, and he actually has a lot of creative ways of saying things and um you know and I can't take that away from him he seems like he's a learned person he's been he's, he's a very educated you know well articulated person who can pretty much express his ideas in many in a lot of creative ways you know I actually um recently subscribed to him you know not long ago um and basically it's kind of disheartening or a bit of a shame I should say that his account got suspended but my focus is actually on, you know, with that being said, I'm not surprised. And the reason why I'm saying it, I'm not saying that to be nasty or anything, but there are just certain things that you just cannot say. Um, I really didn't have a chance to actually view the video, his video response to Akeda, um, about what she said initially. But I can only imagine the words that he probably used to actually, you know, express his point. I'm not jumping on anybody's side. I'm not saying that he was right, he was wrong. I'm not saying that she was right, she was wrong. If anything, she actually admit to her shortcomings and her mistakes on what she made in her video. That pretty much, I can say, you know, take a lot of um, a lot of backbone to do because generally these days, everybody wants to be in the right. Nobody wants to be told that they're wrong. But my whole issue is that even though you are living in the United States of America and we have the freedoms of speech and everything, there are certain things that you cannot say. And certain things you cannot do. I don't care if you're out in society, or even if you're posting a standard video here on YouTube. Um, Avenue Rant, he has a way of delivering a message to, you know, it. Now, I'm, I'll say this. Let me back up a minute. The messages that he says, I mean, I, you can't argue with them because pretty much, you know, there, there are a lot of truth to what he's saying. Even though I would not go uh, to the point of saying, delivering that message in the way that he says, as far as some of the words that he may choose to use to convey his message. You know, it's just the fact that it's just, I guess, the way that it was brought across that pretty much ruffled some feathers. I don't know how many feathers it got that got ruffled by the message that he posted to Akeda, but apparently it was enough where somebody got offended and actually rattled the, the uh, heads of YouTube and pretty much wanted to say that they were offended by what he said. And, of course, because of that, the consequence is that, you know, he got his account suspended. Now, my thing is that it wouldn't surprise me, of course, if he gets another account created. I mean, it may, of course, be under a different name or whatever the case may be, but nonetheless, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, he does that. The main lesson that I actually try to take away from this whole thing is that even though, you know, you may be right in what you're saying, you have to choose your words carefully on how you convey your message. You know, words are powerful. Words can actually hurt people's feelings. And, and I'm not trying to take up for what she said because, again... I didn't want to get too deep into the situation because, number one, you know, I got the gist of what she was saying and pretty much when I figured out where she was going with this, I pretty much turned the video off and just wanted to go and do something else because it seemed like, you know, when you're talking about the black community, it's a very sensitive subject because, of course, you know, we are, you know, we as a human race, we, we do have issues within our race, but I guess from, uh, from a what a lot of people are, I can only imagine that from the reactions of a lot of people, they're looking at the fact that who are you to sit there and actually judge us when you know you're not up to par yourself? I mean, she's a very well articulated young lady. I mean, I, you know, she, she speaks well, you know, she's able to hold her own. But my thing is that on both sides, on Avenue Rent side, you know, whatever he posted to her, you know, she took offense to it. You may, 
and I can only imagine, like I say again, the words that was chosen to convey his message, then on the other side is that when you post something on YouTube, you have to be prepared to understand that, you know, everybody is not going to take your words like the way you want them to mean. Everybody's going to take away something different from what you say, even though you may not mean any harm in what you're saying, everybody is not going to perceive it the way that you put it out there for it to be, you know, perceived. And that's just the, that's just the nature of YouTube. That's the, actually the general nature of making a standard video. Now, again, you know, I don't know how bad his response was to her. You know, I wasn't there, you know, and like I say, I, from my understanding, maybe only a selected few people had the chance to view the video, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't know if he may have privated, you know, messaged her with the video or whatever the case may be, but it doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, his account got suspended. Again, you know, just to analyze, you know, Avenue Rants, I mean, he, again, you know, I don't know much about him. Like I said, you know, I just recently subscribed to him myself. You know, I was looking forward to, you know, a lot of his videos that he posts, you know, because a lot of the things that he posts, you know, it, it it's a real eye-opener. And it, it really does make you want to sit there and just listen. I mean, he, he should he should have been writing books about stuff, you know. It's just that he is just that type of person. He has that type of aura about him where he's a very educated young man and he's been out there and experienced some things and now he wants to bring the truth to, you know, the real world, so to speak, YouTube. But again, you know, there's just certain ways that you deliver those truths as so it wouldn't offend everybody. And again, you're fighting a losing battle here when you're talking about, you know, not trying to offend people because it doesn't matter. You can say the nicest thing to somebody, but yet still somebody's going to take offense to it. You know, and that's just the way that it is. You know, you can't change that. You can't change people's perception or how they view things. But for some reason, you know, somebody got ticked off and basically, uh, you know, the end result was that his account got suspended. Again, I'm not going to say that I'm all surprised because I've viewed a lot of his work in the past, but I, you know, I can probably say with a sure bet that sooner or later something like that was bound to happen. You know, again, with everything that people talk about here on YouTube, it's like if you talk about anything that's black, anything, you know, that interracial, those, it's like those elements right there cause such controversy. And I'm, and I'm still under the notion, why? Why in the world does it matter what somebody else has to say about you? You know who you are as a person. It does not matter. I do not need to run and get a group of people to validate how I feel about myself. Because I'm confident in my abilities and capabilities as a human being. And basically, I believe in my personal opinion, the reason why you have such an uproar and stuff like this is because... We haven't really learned how to, to appreciate being black. And like I say, I may get a lot of comments about this. And, and it doesn't matter because, again, I can hold my own. It doesn't matter to me. But I'm going to put it out there. And I, may, I welcome anybody to, you know, come back with a question or whatever, what I mean by that. And what I'm saying is that it's not the fact that we don't love being black. But it's the fact that we really haven't appreciated ourselves as human beings as being black. Because, number one, we still get offended by when somebody says something ignorant. When you are confident in yourself, and, and one thing about it is that I cannot speak for a lot of people. I only speak for myself. But when you're confident in yourself and your capabilities of what you can contribute to society, it doesn't matter to me what somebody overseas may have to say about me. It doesn't matter what somebody over there in the next state or the next, you know, houses, few houses down from me have to say. Because I know when I, when I get up in the morning, I put in a hard day's work, just like a white person, just like an Asian person, just like a Puerto Rican, and I come to my house, cook my food kiss my wife or whoever the case may be and go ahead and go on to sleep and call it a day. No color should be attached to that. It's just a human issue thing. But I don't understand. It's like we are the only race that has so much controversy going on within it that, you know, that's the reason why people just sit back and really clown us because they're looking at how we make such issues out of a little trivial thing. And one thing about it, in there, and it's sad, it is very sad, you know, we see it on television, how we be clowning each other, and we, see, and we are actually doing it to ourselves here on YouTube. And this stuff, it really has to stop. It really does. I mean, but I know it won't, because basically you're going to still have some people that are going to continue to, 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 to cause separation within the race. I've addressed many issues in the past with a, with a person who everybody knows, if you could follow my videos about, his name is Jay Love. It was the same issue that was going on, creating separations within your own race. Why would you do that when we already, as blacks, are already facing enough harassment, enough being discriminated against? Why would we choose to discriminate against each other? It doesn't make much sense. 
It really doesn't. We're trying to live in a world where there's peace and harmony, but yet still we can't do that because we're not happy with who we are as a people. We always find a fault with one another. Okay, you want to make fun of people. I mean, you want, okay, fine. Okay, I don't want to date a black woman. I want to go out and get me a white woman. Okay, you got a problem with that. Okay, fine. I want to stay with somebody within my own race. Okay, why? You think that, you know, other people are better than you? I'm like, what is it that we're going to have to do to, to, to have some sort of peace, some sort of resolution here? Because basically it's like the way we're bickering at each other, there is no, re no, no resolution. And basically with Avenue Rant's account being suspended, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I understand he may have meant well in what he did and maybe what he said, but it's, again, it's how you deliver those truths across to other people. Because the way that you perceive that other people should pick it up, that's not gonna, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to pick it up that way. So this should actually be a lesson as for all the people that use YouTube that even though we live in a country that says that we have uh, freedom of speech, you still have to mind what you say. Because again, there's always somebody on the other end watching what you're doing. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Peace, love, and joy. That's just all I got to say for today. I'm out.